Please be seated. Good morning, fellow students and faculty. I am honored that I have the opportunity to speak in front of you today. The topic I'm talking about may be expected for some and possibly unexpected for others. How many people in this room would say they have faith? Maybe some people think I'm asking if they're religious. I'm not. Webster's describes faith as a belief or trust in something. The Bible describes faith as being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. When I say faith is trust, it becomes a lot easier to identify where faith is in our lives. Here's an example of what I mean. Today, as we entered this chapel, we put our faith in the building's architect, believing that the building won't collapse on us. Going even simpler, as you sit on the benches, you have faith that they'll support your weight. That, my friends, is what I mean by faith. Now that we have some idea of what faith actually is, uh, I can move on to why I believe it's the most important virtue. What we trust in is what we have faith in, and what we put our faith in determines who we become. Someone who trusts that money and buying things brings them happiness puts their faith in materialism, believing that they will be satisfied as long as they can buy whatever they want. This may invoke feelings of well-being, but only for a short period of time. Once they run out of money or bury themselves into debt, they're right back where they started, if not worse. Someone who trusts in their outward appearances to help them succeed puts their faith in beauty. They're relying on constantly keeping up with society's idea of beauty, which age and time has a way of taking care of. Someone who trusts in doing good, in doing good will help not only others but themselves in the process puts their faith in good deeds. They want, other, they want to help others because it will benefit them in the long run. But if someone is helping somebody else only to help themselves, how effective are they actually in helping that other person? I think that if you want to help someone effectively, it should be out of selfless love, expecting nothing in return. I put my faith in something different. Jesus. There, I said it. The ice has been broken, and I find it funny that the J word seems a lot more awkward than those dreaded words in grade six health class. Maybe it's the misconceptions that are affiliated with the word Jesus, but even more so the word Christian. I would call myself a Christian, but I don't claim to be a better person because of it. I don't believe in Christ because my parents do or because someone forced me to. I believe because over the years I've tried to make sense of everything around me. Life is tough and I needed peace and I found it. I had those moments where I felt that deep connection with God but like Rome my faith wasn't built in a day. It happened over time through many trials and it was in those times where I felt alone in this world where I felt like nobody understood what I was feeling. That's where I felt those connections. I'm nowhere near close to understanding everything, and I don't think I will be able to in this lifetime. But all I can really do is keep remembering that I'm not perfect, but it's something I can strive for through Christ. And that's where I have decided to put my faith. Now, although this, short, this speech is short, uh, I had planned to end it with some fireworks and circus delay doing some acrobatics off the of light fixtures, but apparently that is a big no, 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 nay, nay, nay in the chapel. <laughs> On a serious note, please find out for yourself what to put your faith in and don't let somebody else tell you what to believe. And since exams are coming up soon, I re recommend we listen to the wise words of Bob Marley when he said, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. Also studying, that might help too. <laughs> Thank you. Now would you all please rise and sing hymn 118, O Come All Ye Faithful. Mm -hmm. 